Good afternoon, everyone. This is Warren Kurtzman at Coleman Insights. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've got an exciting announcement to share with you. Um, I should let you know that we are not going to be taking any questions during the webinar itself today. I'm just going to be presenting for the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, but at the end of the session, we will provide you with a webinar link so that you can ask any questions that you may have about our announcement today. So again, thank you for joining us. Um, what we are going to do today is launch our new FACT360 strategic music testing service. FACT360 is the library music testing service that is used by most of Coleman Insights clients today. And my goal is to share with you some details on how we developed it and, of course, the benefits that our clients are deriving from using it. Now, as you may be aware, FACT, which is an acronym that stands for FIT Acceptance Compatibility Test, is the brand name that we at Coleman Insights have used for library testing for more than two decades. FACT has traditionally been fielded by recruiting respondents to participate in person, usually by coming to a field service and taking the test in small groups. In these sessions, respondents hear hooks and tell us whether or not they are familiar with them, how much they like them, whether or not they are tired of them, and which stations they would expect to hear them on, by filling out forms like the one you see displayed here. These forms are electronically scanned and produce the data that form the basis of a fact strategic music test. In 2013, however, we began delivering FACT360 studies to clients after more than a year of testing ways we can improve upon the in-person and paper in pencil approach to collecting data from respondents. Our goal when doing so was to build upon all that we had learned from collecting data online to produce our plan developer strategic studies and our integrate new music research. Now with FACT360, we feel that we have improved upon the FACT studies that our clients depend upon. We approached the development of FACT360 with a heavy focus on quality as we felt there were many online music testing services being used by radio stations that produce data of dubious value. Now, some of these services are based on the idea of testing your music with your listener database. In these challenging times, we understand the lure of such services because from a cost perspective, they look great. This approach eliminates most of the fielding costs connected with recruiting listeners for a library test. However, from a quality standpoint, they really don't meet our standards because the data they produce are not based on a representative sample of the target audience from which you need feedback. Most of the other online music testing services used by radio stations are offered by firms that recruit from respondent panels built and maintained by panel companies. Now, one problem with these panels is that they're not very large. In fact, the biggest of these panels in North America do not even account for 3% of the population. A solution to this is that research companies can tap into amalgamations of these panels. However, even if a research company could access a combination of all of the panels that are out there, it couldn't counteract the fact that less than 20% of the population are members of any panel. Thus, research that's totally dependent on online panels is unable to capture the opinions and perceptions of more than four out of every five people. So when we set out to build Factory 60, we needed to pick a sampling approach that would allow us to deliver high quality without putting all our eggs in one basket. And what we decided to do was put our eggs in multiple baskets and borrow from the sampling approach that we've successfully used for our Integrate service for the last few years. This means that we recruit people via landlines, via mobile, and through online panels. By recruiting people through landline, mobile, and online, we don't limit ourselves to just those segments of the population that can be reached through a specific recruitment method. This is important because we find that our rates of success recruiting research respondents varies depending on the technique we use. Now, while we use the multi-methodological approach to recruiting respondents, we utilize the real benefit of the internet for research, which is collecting data from respondents online. So no matter which method we use to recruit a respondent, he or she takes the music test online. 
Now, the, appro the proper approach to sampling is a, a crucial part of our quality control efforts, but it's not the only one. Other things we have built into FACT 360 that help ensure its quality include the rescreening of all respondents. What that means is that no matter how a respondent is recruited, by a landline, mobile, or online, when he or she actually begins taking a music test, we rescreen, ensuring that the information collected on recruitment, such as age, gender, ethnicity, listenership, etc., matches what they tell us before they begin rating music. Another key uh, quality control step we take is hook randomization which allows us to ensure that every respondent hears the hooks in your music test in a different order from every other respondent. This is very important because we've learned over the last three decades that where a hook appears in a music test influences how listeners rate it. For example, listeners consistently rate the first 50 songs or so in a test higher than they do the remaining songs in a test. In our testing of dials for music research, we learned that the performance of a song was directly related to the song that immediately preceded it. At Coleman Insights, we've always dealt with this issue by playing hooks in different orders to different groups of respondents. Now, with FACT 360, we can expand this randomization so that every respondent hears the hooks in his or her own unique order. We also maintain quality by ensuring that every respondent answers every question we ask of him or her. Quite simply, we don't include data from respondents who did not fully complete a music test. Another step we take is the inclusion of dummy hooks in our tests. At random points in the test, rather than hearing a hook, respondents will hear verbal instructions to enter specific information for a song number in their test. This is done to make sure that respondents are paying attention and not simply turning down their volume and randomly answering the questions about each song. Respondents that fail to follow our dummy hook instructions are booted from our tests. In a similar vein, we employ speed controls to make sure respondents do not try to get through a test as quickly as possible without regard for the accuracy of their answers. And finally, we have built an online interface that is easy for respondents to use is customized for the unique measures we include in FACT 360, and is cloud-based, allowing respondents to participate on a wide array of devices. Let's take a look at that platform, um, during which I'm going to show you the three steps that you would follow for each song if you were participating in a FACT 360 study. The first question we ask you to consider is whether or not you are familiar with the song or not. If you are unfamiliar with the song, all of the options become unavailable and you would proceed to the next song. However, if you are familiar with the song, the next step is to rate the song with five options ranging from like it a lot to dislike a lot. You can change your mind before you move on, so if you decide that you like the song somewhat instead, you can switch and click the like some button instead. Now the next question you would answer tells us whether you're tired of hearing the song or not which is important to measure separately from how much you like or dislike a song. If you're tired of hearing the song, simply click the Tired Of button. The final step is for you to tell us which stations you would expect to hear this song on, which we use to gener generate fit data on every song of the test, and which we'll explain in a little bit more detail later on. Where it says Station A, Station B, etc. in a real test, we would list real stations in your market. For example, if you think Station A would play a song, you simply click on Station A. You do not, however, have to choose one station. You can tell us how many or how few of the four stations listed you would expect to hear that song on. Thus, if you think that Station A and Station C would play the song, but Station B and Station D would not, click on the Station C button as well. It's also possible that there are songs in the test that you don't think would be played on any of the stations we're talking about. If that's true for a song, just click on the None of These buttons. Now, once you have all of your answers set, you simply click on the Proceed to Next Song button, and you move on. Now that we've gone over many of the details about how we developed and conduct Factory 60 strategic music tests, I want to review, review with you another very important aspect of Factory 60 how we've managed to retain all of the benefits that our clients have relied upon from our fact study. 
The first of these is how we conduct what we call a pretest analysis for each study. A pretest analysis involves having you submit an initial list of songs you want to test to your hook vendor, but before the hooks are produced, Coleman Insights analyzes your selections and gives you suggestions based on our knowledge of your music strategy and the results of library tests for other stations following a similar strategy on songs to add or remove from your test list. This process helps ensure that you test the strongest and most strategically on-target list of songs possible. A second fact benefit that we've retained with FACT360 is our sample guarantee, which ensures that the sample we've agreed to deliver to you is what you get. For each quota we agree upon, we guarantee that your final sample be, will be within a 10% margin of error. If we fail to achieve that, we will continue completing interviews until everything is within the, the agreed upon quotas. Like we always have with FACT, FACT360 includes advanced strategic measures for every song you test that go well beyond the popularity, familiarity, and burn measures that most music tests provide. One of these measures is fit, which tells you how much listeners associate each song with your station and with each of your primary competitors. With fit, you will know when a song is central to your brand, is indicative of a new sound that you need to embrace to involve, or represents a sound declining in popularity that you need to avoid to escape your past. Another strategic measure is compatibility, which shows you how blendable each song is with the most strategically important appetites that exist within your target audience. Using advanced correlation statistics, FACT360 can identify which songs are quintessential to your format lane and which are popular but belong to another format lane entirely. Finally, through the TSL Max sampling approach we use for many FACT360 studies, we provide two acceptance scores. CUM acceptance scores show you which songs ensure that your station maintains broad CUM appeal. TSL acceptance scores show you which songs cater to the tastes of your heaviest TSL generating core listeners. Together, they help you find the songs that balance your station's CUM and TSL appeal. Now with FACT360, advanced strategic measures like fit and compatibility, TSL acceptance and CUM acceptance are even more valuable because each study includes an in-depth analysis and the plan, specific recommendations for the implementation of your study. We present the findings of our analysis and our recommendations in an online presentation roughly two weeks after the fielding of your study is complete. We also collaborate with you in a hands-on implementation of the plan by using exclusive software tools like Category Architect and PC Fact to refine the structure of your station's library and sort the results of your study. With Category Architect, we start with data based on a backup of your music scheduling system and work with you on any adjustments that are needed to your library structure, clocks, and rotation levels. This helps, helps us to determine the optimal number of titles that should be in each of your categories after the implementation of your FACT360 study. We then use our PC FACT software to help you select the titles that should be sorted into each of your on-air categories. With PC Fact, the implementation of your music test can be done efficiently and quickly and helps make sure that the titles that have the most strategic value for your station are the ones you end up playing the most. Finally, another fact benefit that we continue to provide with FACT360 are monitor analyses. We complete one prior to the implementation of your study so that we can have an objective look at what your station sounds like on a typical day and how that compares to what we recommend based on your FACT360 findings. Coleman Insights then remains engaged with your station and helps ensure that your music mix is on target after you have implemented the results by completing a post-study monitor analysis. Again, all of the benefits of FACT that I just described have been retained in our transition to FACT360, which is a major reason why so many of our clients have adopted FACT360. In fact, more than 90% of our library testing clients in North America are now using FACT360. We are still willing and capable of delivering traditionally fielded FACT studies in which respondents take the test in person in small groups at a field service facility. But in virtually all situations, we recommend that clients use our new FACT360 approach. 
there are two major reasons why we think you should do so. The first is that with SAC 360, we believe we can do a better job of sampling your target audience than we can with an in-person test. There are two major reasons for this. First, with SAC 360, respondents can participate on their own time in a location of their choosing. Thus, we are not limiting our sampling to just those listeners who are available to go to a field service at a specified date and time. Second, with SAC 360, we can easily recruit respondents from across your market not just those who work or live near a field test facility. This yields a better geographic distribution of our samples than we can get from the in-person uh, testing approach. The other important benefit of FACT360 is that it costs less than an in-person FACT study. With FACT360, because we are completing interviews over a few weeks rather than in a handful of in-person sessions, we do not have to over-recruit to deliver on our sample guarantee. And we also avoid the cost of securing test facilities and paying for moderators and hosts. These savings are passed along to you, as on average, Factory 60 studies cost about $5,000 less than our traditional fact studies. As you can tell, we at Coleman Insights are pretty excited about introducing Factory 60 beyond our existing clients and to the entire radio industry. And I hope that this brief introduction today piques your interest in how we are delivering online music testing done right. To learn more about Factory 60, please visit www.colemaninsights.com slash Factory 60. From that page on our website, you can request additional information about Factory 60 and have a member of our executive team follow up with you. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you have a great afternoon. And please let us know if you'd like more information about our new FACT360 service.